U.S. Postal Service wants more leeway to raise the price of stamps. After a review, a 10-year review, regulators at the Postal Regulatory Commission could decide by next month. Marketplace's Aaron Schrank reports. Federal law prohibits the Postal Service from raising stamp prices more than the rate of inflation. Robert Taub chairs the Postal Regulatory Commission, which could decide to change that. The financial condition of the Postal Service is a mess. Taub says USPS can't even meet its mandated expenses, like paying employee health benefits. Kevin Kosar is with free market think tank the R Street Institute. Since 2008, mail volume has decreased 25 percent. And the vast, vast majority of the Postal Service's revenues come from moving the mail. Increasingly, the Postal Service makes money delivering packages for online retailers. And it wants to update its aging fleet of vehicles to do that better. Because delivery is a competitive game. There's always this question, is it going to use profits it derives from the monopoly side to subsidize the competitive parcel side of their business. Rival UPS says allowing a hike in stamp prices could mean the Postal Service undercutting its private sector competitors. I'm Aaron Schrank for Marketplace. And in New York, I'm David Brancaccio with the Marketplace Morning Report. From APM, American Public Media.